Waffle Fanatics, back at you, DM3, video of the day. Today's topic, the tight end room. So as you guys know, the Bills just re-signed former Bill, Lee Smith, was on the team from 2011 to 2014. People are saying three years, nine million, that's a pretty hefty contract for a very unproductive tight end. Well, let me tell you a little bit about Lee Smith. So Lee Smith was highly, 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 highly crucial in part of the Bills run offense in 2014. Lee Smith is a very, very underrated run blocker. Now, people might say, well, we already have a plethora of tight ends on the team. That's true, but look at the tight ends we have. So we have Jason Kroom, who is a converted wide receiver. Um, still kind of progressing towards where I think the Bills, Sean McDermott, Brandon Bean want him to be. Very athletic. I do really like Jason Kroom. I just don't think he's that great of an asset in the run blocking game. And then you have Tyler Croft, who some say is a fairly good run blocker. Some say is a fairly good pass blocker. I think he's middle of the road. Um, I do think he's athletic, and I do think that that's something that can be worked with going forward. Um, and then, of course, we drafted Dawson Knox, who everybody says is probably going to push for that number one tight end spot. Um, again, haven't been overwhelmed with his run blocking or pass blocking ability. I will say that he is extremely athletic, so I do think that's also something that can be worked on. Um, and then you got Tommy Sweeney, who ultimately i think is probably at this point again it's unproven but at this point i think tommy sweeney is our best run blocking tight end again is that going to translate to the nfl game defensive ends in the nfl are a lot more athletic than they are in college they're grown men they're a lot more athletic they've they've learned their craft they've learned a lot more moves um they're a lot more quick with their hands so that that will be left to see so you know I'm not I'm not quite sure are we gonna carry four tight ends are we gonna carry five four is probably pushing it right so at that point you got to think to yourself well who's gonna be the odd man out probably not Jason Kroom because the Bills have something invested with him a couple years he's been on the team um, you know this past season he was very instrumental in the passing game um, was one of Josh Allen's favorite targets um, they just drafted Dawson Knox so I don't think that they're gonna cut ties with him um, they just spent money on Tyler Croft, so I don't think that they're gonna, you know, they're gonna part ways with him. So, and then they just signed Lee Smith. So, and they gave him a three-year contract, which, if it's a bean contract, I'm sure there's some kind of out. If there's not production, injuries, what have you. Um, but then you got a Tommy Sweeney. Is Tommy Sweeney the odd man out? So you got five guys that are probably fighting for four spots. You know, they just cut Jake Fisher, um, the offensive lineman, converted tight end. He posted on social media, thanks for the cup of coffee, Buffalo Bills, appreciate it, life's a grind, I'm moving on. So I'm really interested to see what you guys think. Um, put it in the comments, who you think's the odd man out? Who do you think's a Sherlock? Is there a Sherlock? Um, do the Bills utilize the tight end in the offense the way a lot of other teams do? Or are the Bills just bringing in more blocking weapons for the offensive line to help in the run game? Because you know, the Bills, run game last season struggled and struggled big time. So are they bringing in these tight ends that can block to not be targets for Josh Allen? Are they bringing them in to help with the run game that ultimately opens up the pass game in the end? So again, you got, you know, you got Jason Kroom, you got Dawson Knox, you got Tyler Croft, you got Tommy Sweeney, you got Lee Smith. You know, you got all these guys that are battling for four spots. So it's gonna be really, really interesting to see when camp gets here, how all this unfolds. Again, if you guys aren't subscribers, subscribe to the Buffalo Fanatics YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, like this video. I'm DM3, and I'll see you on the next one. You no, I'm on fire. If you don't know who I be, you better ask somebody.